Hey guys, right here in the garage working on Miata a little bit. We're going to do the front brakes. We're going to do a little bit of a comparison test this week. We had a tool donated to us by one of our friends. This is actually a proper caliper press. This is the proper tool you're supposed to use to release brake pads back into the caliper. That way you can change them. But most people use a C-clamp. That's what I've used for years. So we're going to do the passenger side with the C-clamp, do the driver's side with the proper tool, see which one's better or if there's any difference at all. Let's get started. As you can see, we've got the car up in the air and the wheel off. We've also already soaked everything with PB Blaster and let it soak. Now we're going to get it broken loose. You will need a 17 millimeter wrench, 14 millimeter wrench, and I suggest a ratchet with a 17 to make everything quicker. Let's go ahead and get started. Now we've got everything separated, we can set the caliper aside. Make sure you do not let it just hang by the line. That's really bad for the line. You might pull it apart, mess everything up in here. Replace this rotor. As you can tell, since this car sat for a long time, all kinds of crap back in here. Brakes make heat. This plus heat equals fire. So we're going to go ahead and clean everything out. Okay, now we will take a little bit of brake clean rag to the hub. Now we've got our new rotor ready to go on. Last thing we're going to do is hit it with a little bit of brake clean and a rag. Make sure there's not any oil or anything else on it. Install is as simple. Line the holes up. Boom. Yeah, you got it in. It's good to go. Now we'll move on to the caliper. Okay. Okay. Removing the old pads is as simple as simply popping them out of the retainers. Or you can just pull the caliper apart and release these springs and they're good. Now that we've got our pads removed, the caliper is separate from the bracket, we're going to use our new caliper press, push the piston in, and we get the new brake pads in. Okay. To release it, you just go the other way. Slides right out, boom, easy. Now we're going to install the bracket back onto the hub over the rotor. Now that we've got the bracket back over the new rotor, we'll install the pads. They just slide in and the caliper will go over top of them. Pads are installed. Next step, now that we have the caliper with the piston all the way in, we'll just slide right over. Like that. The last thing to go on is the sliders. This is what the caliper actually rides on and moves in and out on. So you need to make sure these are clean, get all the old lubricant off, and apply fresh lubricant as soon as it goes back in. If you don't feel comfortable cleaning them and reusing them, they're pretty cheap. You can buy a new set and replace them. It's up to you. These look good, so we're just going to clean them, relubricate them, reinstall them. Okay. 
give us a little squeeze. Start coming out. Doesn't really matter how pretty it is as long as it goes in. Make sure you go inside the boot and do not tear the boot either. Okay, before you get that all the way tight, you want to install the bottom one too. Just a little bit of lube. That's what she said. And that side's done. Easy as that, you just change the front brakes on your 1991 Mazda Miata. Most cars will be almost like this. Things may change, the position of the caliper, the rotor size. Some rotors have screws right here that hold them in. It just varies car to car. But every car will be this easy or pretty close to it. Now we're gonna to move to the other side and do it the old fashioned way with a C-clamp. One. Okay, so Cody did the other side with the little tool that we received from a friend of ours. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do it with the C-clamp. Use your old brake pad, put it on your little, the piston, Put the seat clamp over top of it. Tighten it down. And it moves the piston inside. Once the piston's inside, loosen it back up. Take it all back apart. And you're done. Well, now we finished up the front brakes. We did one side with each tool. Matt, what do you think? Which one did you prefer? Uh, me, I'd rather go with the C-clamp. I'm used to using it, but I can see why people would use that tool. It is really easy to use. I still like my C-clamp though. I can agree with Matt. I've done countless brakes with C-clamps over the years. It's easy. Those are cheap, like $2 for Harbor Freight. This tool was probably like 30 or 40 bucks. This tool is really nice and it's really easy. Going forward, this is probably gonna be my go-to tool. So if you want one, I would recommend it. You can get them at Harbor Freight. This one did come from Blue Point. We're really grateful for our friend that donated this to us. Any brakes we do from now on on any car, this is what we wanna do. Well, now that the job's done, we not only have new pads and new rotors, but as a bonus, free Frisbee. Go along, dude. Ready? Dude, are, are you bleeding? Yeah, you bleeding, ew. Three, two, one. Can't see me. <laughs> gang family. Gang Lit gang. Relatives. Lit relatives. Gang. <laughs> you gotta do is use your old brake rotor, put it on your piston. Um, brake. Put it on Three, your old. two, one. Use your old brake caliber. God dang Start it. Start over. It's a brake pad. <laughs> Look how you've done that a couple times. Once or twice today. <laughs>